Preparing borehole logs is a fundamental part of the subsurface investigation. With an increasing number of projects over the years, borehole log drafting and tracking the geological distribution of these projects becomes more challenging. See how RS Log can be used to manage your project data, showing you the steps to create a project and start entering borehole data. When you log into RS Log, most features will be found in the panel on the left. To access your projects, click on the Projects menu under the Data Entry section. The Projects page is where you can access all your RS Log projects. All tables have a toolbar to allow quick interactions like adding or deleting, editing, and if applicable, importing data from CSV and exporting to CSV. To create a new project, click on the plus button. When you open a project, it will become your RS Log Active Project and shown at the top left of your screen. The Active Project badge will also be displayed in the projects list. While creating a project, there are a number of fields you can enter. The project name or title is the main property of a project. You can either select a client from the list of your contacts, defined in the contacts page, or set other from the list to manually enter client information. The site location displays the address of the project site. It's recommended that in addition to entering the address, you locate the project on the map. To do this, click on the map icon next to the project address field. Now, click anywhere on the map or move the marker to specify the project location. You can also draw a polygon to represent the layout of the site. Once you locate the project location on the map, the latitude and longitude of the project will be shown in the project information dialog. This will be used in various RS Log reports and in the built-in GIS map that comes with RS Log. Next, enter the project number and the name of the lead engineer in charge of the project. You can choose between metric and imperial unit systems. This will dictate whether meters or feet will be shown as the depth unit in RS Log. The coordinate system selected for the project dictates the coordinate system used for the boreholes. To take advantage of the cross-section designer and built-in GIS features, we recommend using a geographic coordinate system and locating each borehole on the map. Other options include UTM or local datum. If UTM coordinate system is selected, you'll be prompted to select the UTM zone comprising a number and a letter. Consult with your project surveyor to obtain your project UTM zone. You can assign a web hyperlink to each project and reference this hyperlink in borehole logs. Viewers can scan a QR code to download files or visit your website. Project notes and remarks may be shown on the borehole log. The list of projects is sorted by date with the most recent project shown at the top of the list. If you're looking for a specific project, you can search with the project title or client name in the search bar. Now, open a project and start entering your borehole data. Access the list of test holes for your active project from the Test Holes menu under the Data Entry section on the left panel. Please note the term test hole is used interchangeably for borehole, test pit, or trial pit. Double click on the name of a test hole to start editing its data. Since a significant amount of data is associated with a test hole, data entry is carried out through several tabs. You can easily customize these tabs using the Tab Customization button at the right end of the tabs. This allows you to hide or show any tab and change their order, depending on the type of projects that your company works on. The Instant Log Preview button will preview the test hole log. Simply click on the magnifier icon and select the log template, and the preview of the log for this test hole will be displayed. Several parameters, such as test hole type, name, groundwater level, and coordinates can be entered in the General tab. If the project coordinate system is selected as Geographical, click on Place it on the map to open the map dialog. 
drag the test hole marker on the map or simply click on the map to specify the test hole location. To select the test hole marker or pin, click on the Select Marker button. Click Save to close the map, and you'll notice that the latitude and longitude of the test hole will automatically be updated. For incline test holes, enter Trend and Plunge. If you've already conducted any instrumentation or survey inside the borehole, you can enter this data under the Instrumentation tab. The Samples tab is used to enter the list of samples obtained for this test hole. Using the CSV Import button on the toolbar, you can import the data in all the tables. RSLog accepts both top and bottom depths for a sample. If you'd prefer to enter only one depth to represent a sample, enter it in the Depth field. RSLog shows the top and bottom depths of the samples in the test hole log. The list of various sample types may be edited from the Settings page. To do so, click on the cogwheel icon to edit this list. Please note, if you would like to enter lab test results for a sample, it can be done in the Lab Test page, which is accessed under the Data Entry section of the left panel. The Field Test tab covers any type of test carried out inside a test hole. If you don't see the field test which you're looking for, you can add your own test type from the Settings page, Field Investigation tab. The graph on the right side of the page plots the data for the selected field tests. The subsurface soil and rock layers encountered during drilling are defined in the Stratigraphy tab. The data entered in this tab can be presented in the log using the Lithologic Description Log column. For each layer, enter the top and bottom depths, layer title, and lithologic description. You can select the hatch or shading representing this layer in the borehole log. RS Log covers several industry standard hatches for soil and rock. The Comments tab is used to show comments or remarks in the borehole log. For example, unexpected changes in drilling rate or moisture, casing installation, or any additional information that may be worth noting in the borehole log. If borehole drilling involves coring, you can use the Drill Runs tab to enter RMR, TCR, and other parameters for each run. The data entered in this tab can be presented in the log using the Drill Run Log column, both in tabular and graph formats. Use the Boring Methods tab to enter boring methods for a drill hole. You can assign more than one drilling method to a test hole if necessary. You can edit the list of drilling methods from the Settings page, Field Investigation tab. The data entered in this tab can be presented in the log using the Boring Methods log column. The Discontinuities tab is used for entering details of defects identified in the borehole. The data entered in this tab can be presented in the log using the Discontinuities log column both in tabular and graph formats. For each defect, various discontinuity parameters could be specified by the user. Note you can always import a list of discontinuities from a CSV file. The Instrumentation tab is designed for entering any borehole survey or soundings conducted along the length of the borehole. Various types of instrumentation include piezometer or well installation, inclinometer installation, borehole diameter measurements, and more. If you've installed a piezometer in the borehole, you can enter the details about the pipe and backfill for each pipe segment. On the right side of the page, enter the list of your groundwater level measurements for this piezometer. The data entered in this tab can be presented in the log using the piezometer log column in graphical formats, including water level measurements. If you've conducted any measurements or survey inside the borehole, you can enter this data under the Borehole Survey tab. This includes any dataset associated to the borehole depth, such as variation of borehole diameter vertically along the depth, drilling force slash torque, and more. The data entered in this tab can be presented in the log using the Borehole Survey log column in the form of a graph. This concludes data entry for test holes. 
Please note some of these tabs may not be applicable to some of your projects or test hole types, such as test pits. See for yourself how you can manage your borehole data and in a few clicks, prepare customized borehole logs. To start your free trial of RS Log, visit the link in the description below.